Hi, my name is Max Anderson, a senior technical consultant at AHEAD. You may have already seen some of our previous Automation Hub demonstrations, but now I'm excited to showcase the addition of GCP services to the Automation Hub catalog. Just as Azure and AWS, GCP is quickly gaining traction with the enterprise customers. Two of the core services that application teams often require are virtual machines and Kubernetes clusters, depending on the way that they are going to be deploying their applications. And both of these are standard items customers are adding to their catalogs. To begin with, let's take a look at the two demo request items we have available. Focusing first of all is Compute Instance, also known as virtual machines to most of us. If we go ahead and click on the request item for a Compute Engine, you can see we're presented with a form. These forms are highly customizable, and you can choose to give more or less choice to the user. Ultimately, we provide the user with the form. We can generate the values or use static values underneath the scenes, and we'll pass these over to GCP. This happens through the integration hub, which connects us out to the GCP deployer template. And now we're going to go ahead and fill in some values here. And as you can tell, we got some, val some default values put in here. We got a project. I'm going to keep it in my sandbox. We can put many images. We can limit images. And we can choose zones that we allow our users to put them into. And let's go ahead and submit that. It looks like our form has been submitted. Looks like the request is out there. Now, if we go ahead and refresh this, we now see that we have an instance that's spinning up. We can sit here and wait for that thing to finish up, but I'm sure you get the picture. A VM will be deployed, and we can now tie additional automations to post-deployment operations as needed. Well, you all know not everyone wants to deploy a VM anymore. We're frequently working with customers now to deploy applications in modern architecture patterns. And containers have quickly become a mainstream method. In addition, Kubernetes has become the most widely adopted platform for us to deploy those containers on top of and have them orchestrated appropriately. In this case, we're going to deploy to Google Kubernetes Engine, also known as GKE. GK takes a lot of the pain away from having to deploy Kubernetes, which can be quite a task in itself. Rather, we can just simply fill out a form over here in our catalog. And with the options that you can control, you know, let's go ahead and say um, GKE1. And we don't have a project defaulted on this one. And we're going to go ahead and only allow users to do Central 1. Um, zone, we can choose whichever zone we want. Um, just let it stay here. We'll go ahead and the versions, we can have whatever versions we want to do, and we can even have it so that G Google will actually handle the versioning for us. Let's go ahead and submit this. It looks like our request has been submitted. Now let's go on over here. And this sometimes takes a little bit, but sometimes it can surprise you with how quickly they can spin up. There we go. Now, as you can see, we, we currently have a cluster being spun up. This can be automatically handed over to the application team after the request has been submitted and the whole process has completed. This is only the beginning. Anything we can automate natively in GCP can be stitched together into ServiceNow using the same automation architecture. And we'd love to show you more. GCP has most certainly arrived. Come and find out more at ahead. Thank you.